Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please hit that subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be fantastic. The last time I done a video was back on Thursday. I said I'd take a few days off, recharge the batteries, a lot going on behind the scenes. And you know what? we got to make big decisions in our lives just to, to make everything good. So look, I'm glad to be back. I'm here to talk about a potential signings for Celtic. Just remember before we go into this video, this is all down to speculation and tweets. It's all entertainment purposes. So people will comment below saying prove this, prove that. I don't really give a fuck. Just the put out straight, which is so let's talk about a keeper that should Celtic sign. And to be honest, this guy's been mentioned so many times in the comments. Benjamin Seacrest. Benjamin Seacrest is was Dundee United's stopper for the last three years. Great keeper, I have to say. He's done a really good job in the Scottish League. Wealth of experience in there. Obviously, he had spells at Aston Villa as well. Swiss keeper, 20 years of age. He's on a free. Dundee United are doing a massive clear out. Loads of contracts are being terminated, you know, and look, at they're, they're on a new step of whatever they're going. Celtic need to sign this guy. Simple as that. I think he'd be a great ideal number two for Joe Hart. I know we've Scott Bain there, Scott Bain signed a new contract there during the season. We still have, unfortunately have Barkas on the books that's collecting 20 grand a week, which is absolute robbery. And we still have Hazard on the books. Then we need to clear, we need to sort this goalkeeper situation out this summer. Definitely needs to be sorted out. But um, secrets for me has to be done. The next one, I do apologise if I pronounce the name wrong. Don't start jumping at the comments saying, oh, it should be like that. It should be like this. Look at folks, all I can do is what I do. Antonin Simeo, he is an English player that plays in the championship for Bristol City, 22 years of age, he's had 31 appearances this season, 8 goals and 14 assists. Bristol City have a price tag on him for 15 million. Do you think Celtic are going to break the bank and sign this guy for 15 million? Not a chance. We're going for Champions League football, he has no European experience. And you think so? They're going to be mad and gamble on a lad. That could be the next Ivan Tony. Definitely not for me. Definitely not. He could play for Ghana if he wants, but look at at the end of the day, he hasn't done enough for me. He had spells at Sunderland and backed as well, but he can stay at Bristol City. And Bristol City can go and sing for it. Definitely. The next one. I'm interested in this guy. I have to say, I watched a few YouTube clips on him, and he's, he provided like cracking assist for Jordan Larson the other night as well for AIK. He's a Kenyan international. He is five foot seven, and his name is Eric Antomeno. Now he's twenty five years of age. Looking at this guy, plays left back, plays right back, kind of like a Jovanovic, pacey as well. Victor Wanyama, Mikael Lustig, put a word in, try to get this lad to paradise. Preferably, he likes playing left back, and he's played twenty five times for AIK last season as well. So he. He has a bit of an experience in there. At the end of the day, he's it's what type of player we need. And I know we were talking about Mohamed Yezi of Harmarby, OF, that's in the Swedish league as well. Talks with him have broken down. As far as I know, it's down to personal terms. Okay, this guy, Kenyan Eric, as you want to call him, 2.5 million they're looking at ARK for. His contract expires at the end of 2023. Why not go for him? Go from it. what I've seen of him. I watched eight or nine clips of him today. I think he'd be a good fit for Celtic. Very physical, pacey, and we need to give competition for Greg Taylor. So let's see what happens there. Regards to Ida Cora, look, at, we were being linked with Co Ida Cora for the last year. I've done videos on this guy, the Japanese international, 25 years of age. He's on the Man City box. He, he helped Schalke get promoted back to the Bundesliga. He played over 40 appearances last season. Four goals in there. Can play centre-back and left-back. Reports that Schalke are not willing to pay the £6 million for him. So I don't know what's going to happen with this guy, to be honest, which is... Regards to his teammate that plays for Man City, 23-year-old Taylor Billis. I can't see this happening. Can't see this happening. Apologies, not 23. He's 21. Reports that we were going to get this guy in a low move. He's had to have moves at Stoke. At Blackburn as well. I can't see it really happening, which is folks. There's going to be a lot of talk 
in the next couple of weeks until the transfer window closes. And that's what's going to happen. You know, it's going to be a long sum of it. We all want to know what's happening with Jota. We all want to know what's happening with Carter Vickers and other players at the club that could should be departing. So let's see. Subscribe to the channel. It's great to see us all back on. Give them comments again. And speak to us all soon. Hell, hell.